first, you'll need some cheesecloth. And since these ghosts need to be small enough to hover over a headband, you want to cut a piece that's around the size of a folded square napkin, so about 6x6. Six six. And if it's too much, it's okay because we're going to trim these later. As you can see, the cheesecloth comes pretty folded, so make sure you are using two layers of it rather than four or one. Next, you're going to prep your workspace with some parchment paper because things are going to get a little sticky. I'm using these two ounce bottles for my ghost structure, but you can be creative and use or build anything you like for this. Just keep it on the smaller size, remember this is going on your head. And know that it may get sticky and ruined, so use something that you don't care about. Now I'm taking a pipe cleaner and twisting it around to make ghost arms, which sounds kind of silly, doesn't it? But you get what I mean. We want to create a floating ghost effect here. Also, you want a round top for the ghost head, so I'm using some doll head beads, but if you don't have anything like that, then you can roll up a little tin foil ball and that would work too. Next, you're going to drape your cheesecloth over it and you want to make sure that none of the cloth hits the table. If we wanted these ghosts to stand on a table, which I have a video about too, then you'd want the cloth to hit the table, but these are going to be floating on the headband, so it's important that the bottom is not flat. So trim everywhere you need to so that everything is hanging. Now I'm using Stiffen Stuff, which is a fabric stiffening spray. The nozzle on the stuff often gets clogged, so when I make these ghosts, I just pour the liquid right on top, making sure that my entire ghost is coated. You could even use a foam brush like I am to make sure everything is super wet, and once you're done, you want to move it out of the little puddle so it can dry. And once it's dry, you will easily be able to tell because your cheesecloth will in fact be super stiff. And when that happens, you want to carefully shimmy the ghost off of it. If it doesn't come off seamlessly, don't worry, this will be easily moldable and you can use your fingers to push that ghost head right back up. So both my ghosts are done now and I'm just taking some black felt and cutting it up in a messy kind of way and I'm creating two ghost facial features. Then I'm using some clear tacky glue and simply sticking them right on. Next, you'll need a simple headband. I got mine at the Dollar Tree. You'll also need some wire because we're going to create our own springs. I'm taking this crafty floral wire, although any wire would probably do, and I'm just wrapping it around this fat dowel I have, although a pen would probably work as well. And you want to wrap more than you think you need because we can cut it down to size later. So slip that right off, and first at the top here you want to create a flat circle, and I'm using a piece of white felt that I cut in a small circle and hot gluing it to the spring. I am then very carefully hot gluing that spring to the inside of the ghost head. Be very careful not to burn your fingers when you do this because remember the cheesecloth has lots of little holes. I am now using a second small circle and pressing it right on top to make sure it's secure. Now it's time to simply measure where you want this ghost to float. You don't want your spring too long because the ghost will hang over the sides. You want them to be bouncy, so find your happy medium and wrap it into place over the headband. And now I am taking a third white circle and hot gluing it to the bottom of the spring so that we can easily glue it right onto the headband. You can see the difference in the two ghosts right here. One side looks like it's floating and the other is very still, so make sure that that length is just how you want it. There you go, easy and fun little ghost headband.